The Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration, or OWA-11, has confirmed that the team that was sent by the government to both Iran and Iraq is coordinating with the embassies in the said countries to assess and facilitate the situation of the Overseas Filipino Workers, or OFWs. According to Carmelo Elaya, the chief for the Programs and Services Division of OWA-11, both Iran and Iraq are declared to be on alert level 4 by the Philippine government, and this is a cause for concern for Filipinos working in both countries. <laughs> apo uh, appeal no na uh, sa pag uh, pag pag tanaw sa sitwasyon no na dito mismo kunya ukan sila og mga sila ang mo monitor no og kinsa to mga OFW nga nga ni ni nang palista na According to OI-11, the welfare officers for each Philippine embassy in the Middle East are ready to cater to OFWs who are seeking repatriation back to the country. Ato ang mga ibahala, kung ato ang mga welfare officers ng mga taga-OA dito, nag-apuan lang yun sila kung kinsa ang report na to sa Philippine embassy, no? In the event of repatriation, the government is offering OFW's livelihood programs to help in providing a source of income for Filipinos who are going to lose their means of income because of rising tensions in the Middle East. Kanisa ang Malipinas Malikan ang boy program, ano ka itong 20,000 no, uh, uh, livelihood assistance para sa mga OFW. So most likely, kanil mga gikan sa Iran, kung makaabot na sila, gikan sa Iran or uh, sa mga sa Iraq mga kuhan, Kevin Carr of the Philippine Information Agency Davao for the Nation.